Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Oxygen Not Included Agricultural Update. We are in the Acropolis, and we have set up our extra electrolyzer hydrogen oxygen pumping system without using any filters whatsoever. We're getting getting some O2, we're getting some hydrogen. I guess I've gone over all this before, but you know, we're not... You know, it's, it's an energy efficient system, but we're not going to get the maximum output from the electrolyzer because we need to wait for the gas to percolate through the system. Anyway... That is fine, though. It's nice to have this here, because, you know, the oxygen is good. But we are going to go for some more algae, because... Ultimately, we're going to need to make more electrolyzers to get more O2, but there's no need to do that right now. Uh, we have a ton of algae we can still go after up here. A lot a lot of pockets of algae, and it'll, it'll be cool to see what's up here. So we're going to, I guess, build a ladder going straight up into that, into that area. I guess we'll just go do that, and that should be a fun, little, exciting, uh, uh, digging project. Should be pretty cool. Let's make this all higher priority. We don't want to get into this chlorine. And then we'll just have a bunch of algae we can use and enjoy. Enjoy for our O2 production needs. Let's see, what's the pressure like here on this Atmos switch here? Yeah, we're at 700, almost 800 grams, so we'll, this pump should turn on any second. Come on, there it goes. Nice, giving us the sweet, sweet hydrogen. You know, it's not providing all of our power needs, but it's a nice little bonus to have. And the excess will end up in our batteries. You know, we should actually make some more batteries. I get, I get a few little projects I would like to get done right now. So let's queue up some more batteries. And let the dupes go to work. Excellent, just enough room for them all to fit. And we'll add in some heavy watt wire. Good. Another thing, I would like to... Alright, yeah, I'll let them... I guess we can do multiple things at once here. Well, another plan is we're going to expand out this area here. I want to establish a sleet wheat farm. A sleet, I, a sleet wheat is another new crop added in agricultural update. I probably should have started this earlier because sleet wheat takes 20 cycles to grow. But thankfully, we already have plenty of food, so we won't be dependent upon sleet wheat. And that, that is, that is just fine. So yeah, we can be working on those things right now. Do I want a new duplicate? Not, not yet, but I think we will start getting new duplicates very, very soon. In fact, we're going to make another duplicate dormitory over here. So I guess maybe we could put the ceiling down, right? That should be good stuff. We'll need to, we'll need to reconstruct this pipe and move it up there. It'll be some good stuff, and that does not match up, which is a bit of a shame. I could always expand this. Maybe I will do that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm not really a stickler for having things line up like that. No big deal. How is O2 looking? Yeah. O2 is not good, but we will have... Oh man, we got some melted ice, I think. I don't know where this came from. Oh man, we gotta mop this up. It's getting into our fresh water supply. It's gonna get into our machines and damage everything. Excellent, we got some nice hydrogen coming along. These hydrogen packets are each of, or they're not all of 500 grams, whatever, that's fine. Giving us precious power. Beautiful. End of cycle 38 or 39. Let's see, so we can take the gas pipe. I guess we'll want to reroute it like this. And then once that's in place, we can deconstruct this pipe section. Then we can put some paintings up here and some more beds and everything. It'll be good. some beds in here. Oh yeah, I guess we're, uh... Yeah, we're probably melting ice. We are probably breaking polluted ice apart and all the water is spilling out. It's actually heating up a bit in here. We're at minus 14 degrees Celsius. I believe we are at, like, 
minus 20 before. So that's just fine. Well, I guess I should be more serious about getting this algae. Let's make this higher priority. Everything else can sort of wait. All right, I'm actually digging down here to get some algae, just to get our deoxidizer going. It's taking them a while to dig up here. I mean, we're, we're going through some tough materials, I guess. There's some abyss light in there. All right, now they're making some progress, but the O2 is very low up here. Okay, so we've built our alternative pipe route. Okay, this is gonna work out great. So now we can deconstruct this bit of gas pipe here. That'll be much, much nicer. Get some decor. We can put up some paintings. How about a statue? Look very, very nice. And let's see, oh yeah, we need to enable that building. Turn it back on, throw in the algae. Good stuff. Okay, we got O2 now. We are not going to die. Okay, we are nice cycle 41. We're getting up to the algae pretty soon. I'm making some changes here in my generator room. We're actually gonna put these storage compactors over here so I can eventually build some insulated tile up here to contain all of the heat. You know, we're not really, we're, we haven't heated up too far yet, but we'll need to worry about that eventually. Another thing I want to do is expand out this region here. This will, of course, give us more algae, but mainly what I want to do is uh, deconstruct. Mainly, I think what I want to do is make, put a more, a larger cooking section up here with different cooking appliances and put this micro musher up there instead. I think that might be much better. Then up here, perhaps, we'll put more, another shower and another uh, lavatory, like kind of for this level. You know, each level will have a bunch of beds, a bunch of lavatories and other facilities that the dupes like. So we're doing a million things at once, but hey, you know, we have all of our basics sort of sorted out, so we can afford to be inefficient like this. Because we will need to start cooking some more higher quality food. That much is certain. That was our hydrogen situation. Yeah, we're getting a steady stream of hydrogen every once in a while, not too much. That's okay. Okay, yeah, now now we're hitting it. We're hitting that algae. And what else do we have up here? Ooh, a whole bunch of coal. We might need that and even more algae. Perfect. And a nice swamp biome, slime biome. It's all good stuff. So we're not... Yeah, cool. And, oh, by the way, there is a steam geyser down here that we're going to want to get to eventually. We'll be able to maybe just dig out a massive reservoir, let the water flow around. We can maybe cool it down with a cooling system of our own design. Should be some good stuff for the future. Okay, they finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the storage compactor and we're going to store snow and ice here. And then I'm going to deconstruct these storage compactors. I want them, I want, I want to make everything, like, level and even. And then we can use this space for something else. That should be much better. Okay, so I'm still working on that area. Oh, we got some art going on? That's right. Do we, um... I need to make sure only the appropriate duplicates are, duplicates are doing art. Yeah, see? These ones with the highest level art skills are doing art. So we should get some good paintings. Alright, yeah, there's not a lot of O2 over there. We need to make some more gas permeable tiles so O2 can flow, to flow around the base a bit more. Where the heck is all this polluted oxygen coming from? I have no idea. Alright, construction team. Oh, Ruby, you're making a nice sculpture? A mediocre sculpture. Quaint. How nice. I wonder... How do you get better... So this has plus 22 decor and 8 radius. Plus 22 and a 6 dollar radius. Very, very nice then. 
All right, so we have 3,000 kilograms of algae. That'll be good for a while. By no means is it a permanent solution, though. Let's see, I'd like to build another electrolyzer. We need some more raw metal. We can get some, though. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually going to put another electrolyzer up here, and we're just gonna have it produce O2. The, the hydrogen will rise up here, O2 will sink down into the base. It'll be an, an open air system. Instead of having to depend on pumps like in the system over here, we'll just have it all free floating in the base. And we can put a, a pump up here to get the hydrogen into our system. And I think uh, that'll be a good way to get just a lot of oxygen really easily. Very simple system, nothing fancy like this over here. And then it'll bring us one step closer to being not dependent upon, uh, you know, whatchamacallits, uh, algaes. Cut that open. Good. So we have, we should have all the materials we need. Yeah, we can just throw an electrolyzer right up here. We're gonna put in the gas permeable tiles, which require copper ore. And furthermore, we should dig this out more so the hydrogen has a place to, to pool up and flow. And that should be pretty decent. I guess we can put a tile here and a, an airlock. So the hydrogen doesn't go over there. We want the hydrogen to go straight up. Ooh, chlorine. Very dangerous. Oh man, and you know what? We can we need more storage compactors and they can just go right there, I think. That should be fine. Just fine. Okay, so I mean, right now, let's look at our consumables menu. So we have, we've been making a ton of meal lice, which is quality minus three. What we should do is we should make lice loaf, which has a quality of minus two. So what we can do is we can say, we can check this here so none of my duplicates will eat meal lice. And then we can have somebody go here and make lice loaf, which has better quality. Let's see, it's been caved in, we need to dig that out. Or what's happening here? No fabrication queued. Well, I've changed that now. And let's see, if we look at our duplicates, we can see who is best at cooking. Nobody is best at cooking. I guess Joshua is pretty good at cooking. Let's just make it so Joshua does all the cooking. How about Joshua and Lyra? That way, they'll level up their cooking skills and we'll have better food for people. All right, let's make that slightly higher priority. Oh, speak of the duplicates. Let's get a new duplicate now. Oh, how about we get uh, Mary, a good chef? Or L? Catalina. Bottomless stomach. Oh, man. I don't know if we want a bottomless stomach. Gastrophobia, so you're not going to do cooking. Okay, let's go for Ellie. I think she looks pretty good. She's a miner. Welcome aboard, and we have new beds for you. Okay, great. We finished our new electrolyzer. Let's see, we can hook it up to the electrical system. And we also need some more liquid pipes. So we need more copper ore. That is no big deal. I think we can get plenty of copper ore. Got some copper ore right there, but it's unreachable. Yeah, we can get this stuff. Okay, what do we, let's see, we need to store all of our raw metals, minerals. We can store soils up here. Dirt, clay. We can do algae, and how about rock piles? And everything else. No liquefiables, though. Perfect. All right, great. Oh yeah, our new electrolyzer is up and running. Perfect, so now we're gonna make a ton of more oxygen. Beautiful. And hopefully that'll increase our 
O2 pressure. It'll push all this oxygen, this, all this carbon dioxide out of the base. That'll be good stuff. Okay, so we're experiencing some rolling brownouts now. We're a bit over capacity now that I've built this other electrolyzer, so I'm not sure what I want to do now. I don't want to build another coal generator. Maybe that's the best way to go, but we don't want to be dependent upon coal. However, we have basically an unlimited supply of power in the form of these duplicates. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another... I guess uh, we're going to make another duplicate generation using hamster wheels. So what we need to do is we want... We want to create, like, a hamster wheel generation room. I think we can make one right here, how about? Like, we need to set this up carefully, because we want the duplicates to put their power into the main heavy watt grid here, so it can supply these batteries and the rest of the base as needed, but we don't want to hook the hamster wheels up to heavy watt wire, because the duplicates, that'll make them stressed out and depressed while they're working. Instead, we want the wheels to be, like, in a very nice room. I guess we can dig that out. Like, just some room right here, how about? You know, we'll put all kinds of paintings up, put normal wire, then hook it up to a transformer, and then hook it up to the heavy watt wire. And that should work out just, just nicely. And as a bonus, we'll be getting this algae, too. So I think this is where we'll do it. It's just a short little jump down and a run over, I guess. It's fine. They have to run by this heavy watt wire, though, to get there. Stressful commute, but maybe that's no big deal. Because I want to use this area for other stuff. Maybe maybe there's another place we can put the wheels. Eh, eh, I think fine. That, it'll be fine down here. Let's see, we're going to need another transformer. I think we can put it... I think right up there would be good. Let's put some nice things down here. Should be pretty good. Or yeah, we're getting some hydrogen build up up here. That's going to be great. That'll give us some nice power. All right, so how, how does this work? So what we need to do is we need to take these... These, these uh, hamster wheels, these uh, manual generators, and hook them up to the transformer like so. We need to take the small wire, put it into the input, and then we can use heavy watt wire to hook it up to the, to the main grid. This way, one th up to 1,000 kilowatts will go in here, and then it'll go into the main grid, and there'll be no, no, over, no over capacity, no wires breaking or anything like that. Alright, guys. Excellent. Good job, Ruby. Another mediocre sculpture. Yeah, I'm not sure why we... Yeah, whatever. You did your best. Let's see, we can't get up to those to those wires. We need to... What the hell? Let's just make a ladder. Cancel those ladders. It should be a nice little area. We could put some briar seeds down here. Coming together nicely. I don't know how the O2 situation will be down here. O2 and the rest of the base is doing pretty good, though. Alright, it's almost done. We're gonna get quite a bit more power now. 36. And this is why we need more duplicates. That is unreachable. Dig that all out. I think this is going to be pretty good. Oh my god, just one more. Do it. Do it, guys. Come on, guys. Do it. Alright, it's hooked up now. Yeah, see, look how quickly that battery got drained because of all of our huge power demands. Now we just need the dupes to work them. Okay, perfect. There really isn't much O2 down here. What do we need? We need to... I guess we can put some terrariums down here. I mean, CO2 is going to pool up around here. Yeah, let's put in some... Just some terrariums. And what else? We can give them a nice little... 
A nice ceiling lamp. Yeah, they'll love that. Okay, it's a new duplicate time. We're gonna go for it. We're at 0% stress levels, by the way. Okay, Nikola, level 7 runner. That might be good, and he's good at construction too, and I like the name Nikolai. Nikola. Nikola. We're gonna call you Nikola Tesla, how about? It's about time we started naming our duplicates. You are, you have a bottomless stomach? Eh, that's fine, whatever. And your food quality expectation is terrible. Well, that's great, because we have plenty of lice loaf for you to eat. All right, you know, it's about time we made our sleet wheat farm. I, I talked about it, but I haven't actually made it. So we're gonna make it here. We're gonna make it one level higher. Because eventually we're going to get more blossom seeds and we're going to expand out our blossom farm. And this nice little area is doing good. We got our duplicates. They still don't have enough O2 down here. Maybe we can pump in some oxygen. I'll think about it. Because, I mean, overall, I mean, we have plenty of O2 in the base. We're getting a nice little bit of hydrogen up here. Okay, well, I need to end things off here today now. Thank you so much for watching. That thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you next time for more Oxygen Not Included Agricultural Update. Have a great day.